Hello, welcome to Airtronics TV. Today we're going to be discussing the computer radio, the entry level radio from Airtronics. It's the SD5G. It's a spectacular airplane radio that's easy to use, has a really simple computer, but actually does a lot of stuff. Join me while we take it from antenna to the battery pack and let's see what's inside this great radio. Now let's take a look at what the SD5G really is going to do. First, it is a five channel, so you've got a toggle right here for your gear. It is trainer compatible, and the trainer button is right here. The trainer works with the SD6G, the SD10G, as well as other SD5Gs. So this radio can be used as a buddy box with even an SD10G radio. Over here on the right, we've got a throttle cut override button. If you notice, this radio has digital trims. So to keep from having to move the throttle trim every time you want to kill a glow engine or a gas engine, you can just hit the throttle override button. And right next to it is a master dual rate switch. It's a preset to 70 and 100%. So in the top position, it's 100% throw. In the lower position, it's 70% throw. And it adjusts all three flight controls, aileron, elevator, and rudder at one time. The SD5G has three model memory. That is another feature that makes it vastly better than some of the entry level analog radios out there. And you get to the model one, two, or three by holding the model one, two, or three button while you're turning the power switch on and off. So not only is it easy to uh, set different models, but you can actually switch between them really easy. Now setting the models is all done with this menu system right here. It's all on the main screen. So we can see we're on our main screen, which is the battery screen. You know you're there because it's blinking, and it tells you the battery voltage, which right now is 8.8 .8 volts. Also at the bottom, it's always going to tell you what model you're in. So we're in model one right now. If we push the menu button, now we get EPA. For uh, this radio, um, we hit the channel button. Right now we're in elevator EPA, aileron EPA. This is throttle. Now throttle is actually separated by low and high. When we move the stick, we can see low and high. Hit the channel button again, we have rudder. So in the three flight controls, aileron, elevator, and rudder, you're adjusting the overall volume, so both ends of the EPA at the same time. But for the throttle, it is separated. So it makes it very nice for setting up uh, glow engines, especially. Next, we have server reversing. All five channels are reversible. You can see all those there. And we also can set up different airplane configurations. We have a couple to choose from. This is a normal, you know, regular rudder and elevator. This is a V-tail setup. And then this is a delta setup. This would be like for flying wing. Sometimes it's called Elevon, but this allows you to fly a flying wing and have the mixing all done for you. So the radio has quite a few built-in, very easy to use features that will make it great for a whole bunch of different kinds of planes. I mean, obviously nothing hugely complicated. If you want to do that, we have a 10-channel radio. But the SD5G has a lot of features. One other thing I'd like to point out is this radio has digital trims. And I mentioned that earlier. But what's great about digital trims is when you turn the radio off, they remember their position. And they also remember their position for each model setup. So when you switch between models, this radio is going to know the correct trim and is going to go straight to that trim when you set up the next model. The SD5G trainer cord is put right in here and there's a little cover so that it's protected from dirt and so on when you're not using the trainer function. Right below it is the battery box and the battery box uses six AA batteries. This radio can be run with rechargeables or with regular alkalines. So if you forget to charge your batteries or don't have a charger, you can actually throw alkalines in here and the radio will be up and ready to go. If you do decide to put rechargeable batteries, either nickel metal hydride or NICAD, we do offer a charger and the charge jack is right here in the side of the radio all ready to go. So it is set up for rechargeable batteries even though it doesn't come with them. The SD5G comes with the RX600 which is a mini six channel receiver. I know the radio is five channel but it does come with a six channel receiver it is full range, it's a dual antenna setup. It's really, really easy to use. But if you see here on the screen, there's several receivers to choose from. These are all FHSS1 receivers, and they all work with the SD5G. 
Up here in the top corner, we've got the three gram indoor or park flyer 400 foot range receivers. These are really tiny, they're really light, and they work in all those small foamies. We've got a six channel with over 800 feet of range. That's great for small helicopters and larger park flyers. And then the whole rest of the line are full range, which is well over a mile. They all use a dual antenna system with no extra receivers necessary. So you can get full performance from your SD5G. And later, if you get other Airtronics transmitters, the SD10G or SD6G, for example, all of these receivers will work with those radios too. As you can see, the SD5G is really packed with features. It works with all these FHSS1 receivers, so there's a lot of choices on what you can use to go with the radio. It's going to work in park flyers, gliders, all kinds of applications, even 40 size and 60 size power planes. So if you're looking for an affordable computer radio with five channels, the SD5G is the one to get. Available at Airtronics dealers worldwide.